The firefighters sharing their story after saving two children from a fire. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back, I'm Dick Brennan. The children were found in a bedroom filled with smoke. It happened in Stamford, Connecticut. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more now about the rescue. Exterior damage at the fire scene is undetectable. The drama that unfolded here. The boys cowboyed up and they got the babies out. Unforgettable for these Stamford first responders. We knew we had uh, short moments to get up, locate the children, and evacuate them uh, to fresh air. Lieutenant Kevin Dingle and crew were first to arrive Wednesday evening at the Lawn Hill Terrace Complex, where heavy smoke had built up inside number 40, and two toddlers were stranded upstairs. As soon as they opened the door, those guys disappeared. And I was like, where'd these guys go? And it wasn't until a couple of seconds later, I'm like, oh, they went to go make a rescue. Uh, you know, it wasn't overly hot. It was just hard to see. Uh, so we found the stairs right away. Uh, just we're able to head right up and start searching the second floor. Degnan found the children, ages two and three, semi-conscious on the floor of a smoke-filled bedroom. This video shows him and Dingle bringing the children outside and performing first aid measures to get them breathing again. You're just thinking about what do I need to do next to help these kids get better and, and more on the way to recovery. Investigators believe the fire started in this pot left simmering on the kitchen stove. Stanford police are piecing together the moments that preceded the fire and want to know if an adult was home supervising the children. Degnan and Dingle both are fathers and take quiet satisfaction in the rescue of the toddlers. And that the training that we do and then the, the work that we've put in for years on end uh, was able to come to fruition and, and, and help the people out that we're sworn to protect. In Stamford, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Amazing work. The children did need respiratory care from EMS on the scene. Thankfully, both will make a full recovery.